Have mercy on you. I won't. Violence is the only way.
nice of them to put up a sign. We're just gonna walk in? I mean, it's a secret, right? All Get over here. You care to explain what you're doing here? Did you miss the big sign outside? That I am. Name's Porter. If Doc Crane did send you, I'd be glad for the help. Bad news is we haven't been able to clean these outlaws out of the lab. Good news is they haven't been able to escape, neither. For now, I reckon they got no backup. On the other hand, we don't neither. And our mechanicals all went haywire for some damn reason. Damn mechanicals have always been more trouble than they're worth. The garage and the front door are it. These bastards got in through the vent system, but we locked that down. They're not getting back out that way without a security key card. They'd need to take mine. Or make a new one in my office, I guess. Why you want to know that? What for? Fair point. Here's a key card to my office. Head left from here and downstairs. It's across from the cafeteria. I got a machine that makes pass cards for us. Just don't knock over any paperwork in there. I got a system. Who, me? Or you mean the lab in general? I'm in charge of site safety engineering. Most days that means making sure folks don't run in the halls. Most days there ain't nothing to hear but wind, bugs, and the buildings falling slowly to pieces. Soap or something? I don't know. Years back they made antibiotics. You could maybe ask Doc Crane what he does all day. Oh, the pay ain't much, but it's never been about the bits. I like Roseway. Violence is the only way. I don't think that's working.
your confession now. I guess that all the nothing in that place is what we were expected to find.
You! Over here! Oh, good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. Yes, I imagine he does. But we all have problems. It is the human condition. I am myself ensnared in this wretched place. You want to kill me. I don't want to die. Therefore, it is in my best interest to negotiate with you. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for my life. You're asking a great deal from me. This research is my only bargaining chip. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Give me a little credit. We are not bandits. We do not steal research. We liberate it. So a few scientists were caught in the crossfire. I will not be accountable for every idiot who wanders in front of my gun. All wars have casualties. I regret taking a life, but we were doing them a mercy. Better to die than live in a state of slavery. Think it over. I'm not going anywhere. Which is, I suppose, rather the point. So, you got a plan to pry these assholes out of my lab? Damnation. The outlaws got to it. Bet their leader plans to sell or ransom it. We'll have to pry it out of her. So far, all her parlay's been done with bullets. To speak plain, my ire's up. I'd as soon put them all down.
There's the mother. She's quite an impressive specimen. Here goes nothing! Sometimes violence is the only way! with us. The beating heart of progress can at times be grotesque to witness.
little trick I learned in prison. I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Having second thoughts about helping me? Not that I'm complaining. So you have. I am much obliged. And now, if you do not mind, I have had quite enough of this wretched place. Oh, really? And why, pray tell, would I do a thing like that? Your point is well taken. I would rather not spend the rest of my days looking over my shoulder for the shadow of my headhunter. Here, take the damned research. Tell Crane I hope he chokes on it. You must think me a fool. I was watching on the security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You best back yourself out of here. Nice and slow. You got one minute. Starting now. You convinced her to let us leave in peace. 
Listing the ills we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. I gotta believe that all we've done will mean something to the company, to Doc Crane. That effort will make up for mistakes. I let them walk. Doc Crane will be so far up my ass, everything will smell of flop sweat. I reckon I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. Here, my key card. It'll get you access to the whole place. Full stakes, people. We're heading back to town. Oh, hello. Uh, why do you seem familiar? Have we met? Ah, yes. Very good. And have you done that? What a relief. 
You hold months of work in your hands. Anton would have just given them to Porter without a second thought. What a waste of potential that would have been. I see. A proper shakedown. I might have known not to trust a common thug. So be it. I'll buy them off of you. Much obliged. Here are your bids. Now, let's see here. Attach this, twist that, apply a little pressure, and... Voila! I can finally call this little side project complete. Thank the law. Oh. Hmm. I can't be caught with this. You take it. If R&D buys the schematics from me, perhaps I'll get you the first model, hot off the presses. I'll, uh, call you? Yes, I'll call you. Any news on the thing we spoke about? You know, that thing? Sure, whatever you need to know. Ask Dr. Crane. All I know is my bit, analyzing the raptodon equivalent of hormones. Ah, an interesting scientific endeavor if I ever heard one. Which hormones? Mostly they're leptin analogs. Raptodons have four different varieties. Concentrations vary based on the season. I can't hardly imagine having so much food you'd have to trick yourself into not eating it. Hey, whatever. Don't keep me in suspense. Did you get my stuff? I mean, not mine. It's for other parties. Buyers. This is gonna make me so popular. I mean, with the people who buy it, not by using it. Because I'm not. Only for testing purposes. Quality control. You would, right? Take this. You earned it. If you run into me again after all this is over, maybe I'll have more. Pleasure doing business with you.
that no account fool Porter and his crew are even more worthless than I could have imagined. They've abandoned their posts. This is madness. That is wonderful news. I'd feared the worst. Not in this colony, there isn't. But success here will get me to Byzantium. I'll have recognition, money, proper facilities. It's the only place to lead a life of meaning in the system. I can't believe you're right. If I did, I'd... I don't know what I'd do. That's easy for you to say. You're not trapped like I am. I... I honestly don't know. You've returned. What news? Please tell me you've recovered my research. Without my work to focus on, I find myself tending towards darker paths of inquiry. My research? Please tell me you've recovered it. You can't possibly understand the enormity of what you've done for me. And what, pray tell, is the status of our Raptodons? That... that complicates the equation somewhat. No matter, I have the research. Excellent. If we're done here, I'd like to get back to work. You understand. Actually, there is something else. Um, why do you suppose Auntie Cleo's would want to market diet toothpaste to the lower classes? But that doesn't quite ring true. There's something amiss here. It nags at me like a sore tooth, but I can't for the life of me figure out why. I suppose so.
Pick up any more strays while you were out? I suppose if the crew's quarters fill up, we could... We hang hammocks in the cargo hold. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? What do you want then? My hard-earned wisdom? Ask the common folk? And they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony. And they're trying to hide the evidence. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lei. Go right ahead, sweetheart. Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. I also knit throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion project. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Yes, dear. Which offer were you interested in? Suit yourself. Straight to the point, eh? All right then, on you go. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I tossed together. Like to keep my hands busy. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Yes, dear. 
Which offer were you interested in? You could always try your hand at landing in Cascadia, if you're interested in dying horribly. Pick your poison. Marauders, wild beasts, acid lakes, bottomless sinkholes. If you're looking to die, Cascadia's happy to oblige. Landing pad on Monarch. You don't need a nav key to access it, so it's got that going for it. But it's also kilometers away from Stellar Bay, and the Monarch wilds ain't exactly safe. Might be best to, yes. Suit yourself. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. What's that? Speak up now. What'd you turn up? Well, that's just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. Darnation. It sounded like a gold mine. But maybe that's just my old hopes getting in the way. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. What do you want, then? My hard-earned wisdom? Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. This is Halcyon Doom. Following that series? The hunt for the Wimbro?
You're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of- Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Fortunately for you, I am similarly programmed to protect the ship's captain and crew. A misfired attempt at humor. Captain Hawthorne suggested I should practice my ability to joke more often. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Message from Dr. Wells. We'd like to congratulate you on finding a route to Monarch. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures, more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Cull Kelly. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Captain, an unusual wavelength is coming through Monarch's Aetherwave frequencies. The Eternal is in us all. The OSI would have you believe that your place in society, indeed in the universe, is preordained. A man who works in the mines of Hephaestus, coating his lungs in mercury dust for not but a few bits a night, this fate is set in stone? When he dies young, coughing up black blood, his part in the grand plan? No, I say. Greatness is in everyone. Not just those so fortunate as to have been born into prosperity. That was unexpected and odd. Analyzing the subtextual ordering. I believe it was a type of sermon, Captain. Very zealous in origin.
And I don't think I'd like this place for a little bit. Sure, we ought to go this way, Captain. Here they Devitt used to say that plants need sulfur to grow, and here there's just tubs of it lining up. 